So here's the chain to the chandelier in our dining room. I think it needs to be decorated, at least for the holiday season. Let's see what I come up with. Cut open the side of the bowl and remove the bottom of the bowl. Then place it on a piece of fabric like so and begin tracing around the bowl, leaving at least an inch all the way around. I have pinned my bowl directly to the fabric and I've used a marker to make an allowance for the area that I'm going to fold over onto the bowl. Now I'm going to cut. I'm simply going to cut small slits in the fabric all the way around, almost to the edge of the plate, but not quite. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outside. You simply create a small ring of hot glue, like so. And as you are applying your glue, you simply fold and then remove your pen as you're going. Now adding this felt interfacing is optional, but because the threads were indeed fraying, even though I did glue them down very well, I decided to add a simple piece of felt as an interfacing. And now all I have to do is attach my Velcro and this piece is ready. Now I have attached my Velcro to the outside edge and underneath. Now take your paper tubes and mark them with a straight line. Then simply cut along the straight line. Make sure that you do not hit the very tip of that wrapping area. You don't want to cause that area to unravel. Now I've created an extension rod by simply putting three of those paper rolls together. And I'm simply going to hot glue them, keeping the opening lined up the entire time so that I'll have one 25 and a half inch tube to wrap around the chain on my chandelier. Now your fabric should be at least eight inches long and the width of your fabric is determined by the length of your chain. Place your tube in the center of your fabric. Open up your tube and begin to place a line of hot glue. You're going to simply fold your fabric into the glue. And you would do this for both sides. Now the fabric has been applied to the tube. The only thing that's left to do is apply it to the actual chain. Now I've been squeezing this to make sure that it springs back and forth so that I don't have to add Velcro. I don't want to add Velcro along the inside here. And that is optional. If you choose to do that, it's solely up to you. I've chosen to add ribbon instead, just to kind of give it a little whimsy, if you know what I mean. 